My intellect is without limit. Stacks back. School phase MTG. So I got a meme deck today. This is a definite meme deck. Uh, I got requests from three people to do something with a particular card. So I finally decided to do something with it. Um, and that card is Approach of the Second Sun. So if you don't know what Approach of the Second Sun is, it is a sorcery, a seven drop sorcery. Uh, it says if this spell was cast from your hand and you've cast another spell name Approach of the Second Sun, this game, you win the game. Otherwise, put Approach of the Second Sun into its owner's library, seven from the top, and you gain seven life. Um, there was a lot of janky decks trying to use this back when this was standard legal. Um, and now that it's uh, in historic, there's I've been seeing quite a few people asking, um, has anybody figured out anything to do with this card or how to make it work or whatnot? So um, I, I hadn't really looked on YouTube yet, but I, um, I don't think that there's very many people using this <laughs> or very many people have videos up using this card. So um, I'll be one of the few. Um, this isn't a very popular card for people to try to use and win the game with, but it's very effective if you can build a solid deck with it and um, consistently cast it. Uh, it's it's a very, very easy to... I mean, you only have to cast two spells and you win the game. So to me, it's a very easy card to win the game with. People like easy wins. They like all the treasure hunt decks and all this type of... all that type of stuff. Um, Non-interactive type strategy. So if you're one of those people that like non-interactive, easy win type decks, this is definitely a deck for you. Um, like I said, it's a meme deck. It's very dirtily, very fun. Um, your opponent will just be a lot of times just sitting there wondering, what is this person doing? And then when you cast your first approach to the second sun, then I, I guess the light bells probably go off in and they try to scramble and figure out, you know, how can they stop you? How can they beat you? But um, by the time you cast it the first time, more than likely it's, it's going to be too late because <laughs> you'll either be ready to draw into another one or have another one in hand and you just go ahead and win the game on the next turn. So um, this, this deck has a transformational sideboard. I've been running this in best of one. Um, this is definitely a best of one deck because once people figure out how you win is approaching the second sun, then of course they're going to take measures to stop that because that's pretty much the deck's only win con other than March of the Multitudes. March of the Multitudes isn't that great like it used to be. Um, but we, we generate a lot of mana in this deck and we run Primal Amulet um, to help us copy our gain life spells, our, our cantrips basically. They gain us life and they draw us cards. Um, so when you have a flip primal amulet and you're casting a revitalize, you're essentially casting two revitalizers and you get to draw two cards and you gain six life. So, um, yeah, they keep us alive and they help us find approach of the second sun. Let's get into the, the deck list and then I'll explain more about it. So we got four revitalize, four explore, three gaius blessing, three ritual of rejuvenation, two cultivate, four wrath of God, four primal amulet, three planner cleansing, four approach of the second sun. Four pull from tomorrow, one monster multitudes, and then I got the lands here. Um, again, I do have a transformational sideboard for this for anybody who wants to play this in best of three. Um, the sideboard is set up to where in the main deck you don't run any creatures. You don't run any creatures, you don't have any planeswalkers, or anything. Everybody knows I love my transformational sideboards. So you win with approach of the second sun. Now your opponent, they're gonna go side in whatever they need to side in to stop approach of the second sun, you can take it out. And then you bring in the Planeswalker, um, steal your stuff, Uro package, and now you have a completely different deck that you're playing against your opponent. Um, they you don't show any Euros in the first game, so they don't they don't assume that you have any. You got four on the sideboard that you can bring in. Um, you can replace Cultivate uh, with these, and it'll pretty much serve almost the same purpose. I mean, it'll possibly get you an extra land and give you three life, um, which is, uh, uh, in my opinion, that's a good trade-off for trading out Cultivate. Um, but Ixalan is binding to stop stuff, problematic stuff, maybe like um, against those uh, Gate to the Afterlife decks or something like that. Um, you can Ixalan is binding that Gate to the Afterlife, and then the deck is pretty much shut down, you know, or, or what is it? No, it's not Gate to the Afterlife. It's uh, God Pharaoh's Gift. Yeah, you can Ixalan Biden has got God, God Pharaoh's gift and that deck is pretty much shut down. Um, you got the Nissa, the Teferi, Planeswalker duo uh, coming in. Then you got the Entrancing Melody and Mass Manipulation for all that because we're still a we're still a Bant Ramp deck. So 
you can bring in these five spells right here the extra monster multitude and then the uh, stealing cards to steal your opponent's stuff with all that mana you're going to be generating so you essentially transform the deck into a completely different deck um, post sideboard um, primal amulet is is a, a keystone part of the deck but for some reason when I when I played this deck Primal Amulet did not want to show up for me a lot of times. Um, I, I would consistently get other cards, and I would be drawing a lot of cards. But Primal, Primal Amulet would it would avoid me <laughs> in the gameplay a lot of times. So I think there's a, a few matches, maybe two or three matches, in the gameplay footage with me actually using Primal Amulet and getting it flipped. And then you're seeing how effective it is. But a lot of the other games, I never even get to it. You'll see two versions of this deck. Um, the first version was, um, I, I hadn't had the list finalized yet. I was running just a, a white green version of the deck, which was still effective. But I found that there were times where I would ramp a lot. And then you have that age old problem of you, you ramp, 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 and then you get low on cards and you don't have anything to do. So I put blue in purely for a uh, pull from tomorrow because it makes the world of a difference in the deck. It, it helps us, it helps us find approach of the second sun. Um, when you cast Approach to the Second Sun, you put it seven from the top. You can use Pull from the Mar to get it back to your hand, and then go ahead and cast it again the next turn. Um, very, very. This card makes the world of a difference, so it's worth splashing the blue uh, for this card. Uh, but yeah, basically, the way the deck works is you just wanna you wanna cast your gain life, draw spells. Your gas blessing draws you a card. Explore draws you a card. Revitalize draws you a card. All of these, they cost one, by the way, when you get Primal Amulet out. So Primal Amulet, Amulet synergizes great with this deck. And it, and once you get it flipped, it makes the world of a difference. Even if it's copy and approach of the second sun, that's gaining you 14 life. Which, again, can put the game out of reach for a lot of aggro decks. Other than that, we're just keeping the board clear. We're playing a cleansing, Wrath of God. Um, using using Gaia's Blessing to shuffle our board clears in and draws cards until we draw into second se uh, approach the second sun. Deck is straightforward. Not going to elaborate on it anymore. Deck list is in the description as always. I got the meme Pyromancer glasses today. Pyromancer goggles, I should say. Let's get into the gameplay. Great hand. Dr. Goodnight. Oh, he's probably gonna try to put me to bed. Knock me out. Make sure I gain all my life. Keep me from, I wanna stay far as far as possible away from getting knocked out. Okay. This is a this is a gate to the afterlife deck here. Go ahead and fetch up my lands. All right, I gotta try to. I gotta try to race the the zombie tokens. All right, let me. I'm just gonna go ahead and board wipe now. Get Emery off the board. I know it mills him, but can't have Emery out there. She brings the, the artifacts back. Anything else? Doctor? Alright, let me get this down. Um, go ahead and gain three life and draw. And blessing myself. Uh, just want the wraths and the gain life back. I don't need to cultivate back. I wonder if these people who put doctor in their name, these people, they always like doctor so and so. I wonder if they're like actual doctors. Are you an actual like PhD graduate doctor? All right, let me go ahead and play an approach. And if he doesn't like Platinum Angel or something this turn, he just dies. What you 
getting old brain maggot. Oh man, that sucks. The doctor, the doctor had formulated a plan. Good game. <laughs> Let me breath. It's not a good game yet, man. I don't know what he's talking about. Good game. Go get into the brain maggot. Yeah. Uh, brain maggot. Well, brain maggot can't take the one that I that I already have on top of the library. Oh, march of the multitudes. Uh, well, how many brain maggots does he have left in here? None. All right. I think I'll just hold up all my mana and use march of the multitude to to block his his brain maggot if he swings with it. I don't think he'll swing with it though. He might be afraid he's gonna it's gonna get settled or something. Sees all this mana open. A smart person would not swing with it. And since he's a doctor, he should be smart. <laughs> don't swing with the brain maggot, man. It's gonna cost you the game. Don't get overzealous. He may get overzealous. He was already teasing good game. Are you gonna... Oh, Emery might mill some more brain maggots. I didn't see a brain maggot. Brain maggot? Oh, well, it's just a little too late. Oh, he's swinging with it. All right, uh, five, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and get my approach back. You messed up, Doc. You messed up big time. Good game. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Nice assortment of lands. Lip sunk. That like lip sync. Oh gosh. This is more than likely a field of the dead. Go ahead and fetch up my lands. I need to race. Race to seven mana. Which this deck is on par with making it to seven mana with with Field of the Dead decks. Uh let me go ahead and draw. Draw. I need to find this the approaches. Oh goals. Uh, all right. I'm gonna play this now. I'm gonna risk. I'm gonna let him get have a Golos activation. Cause all I'm really concerned with is playing approach. I'm gonna board wipe away whatever anything he puts out, other than a, a possible Ulamog. <laughs> All right, got through that Golos activation. Golos dies now. Uh, let me save that to cycle. Go ahead and board wipe everything. Cycle. All right. Just need to draw into my my second approach here, and it's over with. Uh oh. 
Is he gonna? What is he gonna get? Uh, could he have necromentia? That would that would be bad for me. If he grabs necromentia, I I have to scoop because the only way I can win then is march of the multitudes. But that's like asking a lot considering he's playing field. So if he can't, if he has something to take out my approaches, then I'm pretty much I'm done. Oh no, no I ain't worried about bolus. Can't play bolus anyway. Not this turn. Anything else? Oh man. Uh that's gonna make me shuffle. Alright. Well, there's still four of them in the deck. Uh alright. Try to thin out some more thin out these lands. Go ahead and make me some tokens to defend myself. Just trying to stall. So I draw into Alright, well, I got enough land. Ain't worry about that. Well I pretty much need to draw an approach now. I don't know why I'm blocking. I'm just gonna block just because here. I need to put blue in this deck. Oh! <laughs> Good game. <laughs> Excellent. Excellente. I am a funny mess. So am I. <laughs> you just uh get this down tap. You're just a freak. Like me. <laughs> Don't talk like one of them. You're not. Oh. You are one of them. Filthy aggro player. Alright. It's going to be a long road to get my stuff killed. To make it to Wrath of God here. Oh man. Two of them. Twins. What is he stealing? All right, he's got. All right, yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and cultivate now. Get all your value while you can out of your robbers here. They will be meeting their demise next turn. And then it'll, it'll just be back to the way things were. <laughs> oh man, he got a, he got one of my approaches. Come on, man, what are you waiting for? I think he's holding priority because of my, my draw spell that he, he stole up there. He doesn't realize it. Your goal. Oh, okay. Anything? Okay. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, get these robbers out of here. Can't stand those things. Oh, solemnity. Oh, he's playing the crooks of foolishness. Let's kill your solemnity. Can't have none of that. I love the Alma Cat music. Oh man, another one. Oh. Uh. Oh wait, I should not concede. I should not concede. He doesn't have Mothra out yet. I almost conceded. <laughs> All right. Uh, I need a land. 
All right, thank you. Um, you go ahead and shuffle my uh, board wipes back into the library here. Man, I wish that was a cleansing. All right. Well, he's got to have Mothra. He's got to put down Mothra to kill me. If he had Mothra, it, well, he can't even cast it. He doesn't have two white. Oh, man, I almost gave him a free game because I naturally when I see Kroxa coming into play with Solemnity out, it's usually game over. <laughs> Thinking. Got nothing? I wonder what he's got in his hand. Oh. Two approaches. Alright. It's a close game here. He's probably got Mothra in his hand and just doesn't have another white mana to cast it. Well, if he had drawn the white mana, he'd have auto jammed it. So it's game over. You play your Croxa. There you go. Let him get on the action. I'll just guard my march. Don't need it now. It's over for you. <laughs> no Mothra combo today. Alright. Chris. 00821. Those that don't know, my brother's name is Chris. What are you playing here, Chris? Oh, you don't see Paradise Druid too often in Historic. Uh. I'm going to play this. I'm going to cycle this away because I need some green. It's not a green. Oh, it's the meal master. Alright, got my green. And eh, just pass. What is this deck? Like, Bant Mill? Or, no, that's Sultai. Sultai Mill. Okay. That's what this is. Sultai Mill. Okay. Ah, uh, Ashiok. Um, do I want to draw in response? No. Oh, Ashiok. It's eight cards. I don't want to draw. It's not worth it just to loot a card. Alright. Well, I'm just going to hold up all my mana and uh, pull from tomorrow. Alright. He doesn't mill. Like, what? Go ahead and pull for tomorrow. Why is your rock in this deck? Uh, discard my primal amulet. Glad I got the land. All right, that's enough of your foolishness, Ashiok. Let's go ahead and uh, clear the board. Yeah, I don't I don't want to remember. That's a And what is this deck? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sticking around to find out. Yeah, you, you can have him. Good game. 
<laughs> Take that mess somewhere else. <laughs> Let's go. Wilk. Wilk K. I ain't even gonna try to pronounce the last your last name. <laughs> Kamitani. Guess that's it. Uh oh. Let's race. Let's race with the mana. The mana droppage. Another field deck. Typical. Man, people are obsessed with Field of the Dead. It is crazy. It's like everybody's just. 80% of the, the historic community is just being like following in line like sheeple. Must play Field. Must. Play lots of lands and make zombies. No, we ain't dropping no lands. Field deck struggling a little bit on lands. Uh, just gonna pass here. I'm struggling on lands too. Only got five. Oh, he ain't struggling on lands no more. Or that hour of promise. I feel like that card. Let me go ahead and flash this in. Three. All blocks. I need the life. Yeah, I feel like that hour of promise card, man. I feel like that just put the field deck over the top. I'm not gonna wipe here. Then build up some more zombies before I start using my wipes. Well, yeah, you know what? Let me go ahead and swing first. Gain the life. Because I want to pop up my amulet. So, let me go ahead and boy wipe. So that gives my amulet another counter. Alright. So, next spell I cast. The amulet is transformed. Oh, no lands. No lands. Let me go ahead and shuffle these in. I'm not drawing lands either. I have a transform land now, though. <laughs> All right. Well, that's unfortunate. I need a land. We're in similar situations here. Wilk. You need land, I need land. You gonna... Oh, our promise. Yeah. Man, that card is so good in field. It's like perfect. Ain't that right, Wilk? I'm sure you know how perfect it is. Look how non-interactive this is. Like, all he has to do is just play, play lands and make zombies. Every turn, that's all you have to do. Um, you go ahead and I'm gonna play March. Um, wait, this is gonna be March for three. No, it's gonna be for two. Let me, let me just not do that. All right. Um, he can do twelve damage to me. That's fine. Copy my approach. I gain fourteen. Go ahead and make your gazillion zombies. You die next turn. Order 66 is coming. 
Uh oh. Not if it's a Ulamog. Oh, no Ulamog. Heh. <laughs> ah, nice. Yes, have your zombies. I care nothing about them. Emperor Palpatine says Order 66. Make it happen. Execute Order 66. <laughs> Good game. Ouch. My hit hurts worse. <laughs> uh, two land? Let's try it. Two land with a draw spell. It feels like... I'm glad I drew my, my third land there. It feels like when you mulligan in historic, it's almost always going to be a, a non-game. Oops. Trying to play my land. Yeah, it feels like it's always going to be a non-game. Oh, some more bant ramp. Because when people have thought seeds and you mulligan to five, it basically just puts the game out of reach for you. Although, Millennial Falcon is not running any Thought Seasons from what I can see. Because they have no black mana. Where's Chewie? Go ahead and get my amulet down. Your avatar should be Chewbacca. Chewbacca should be piloting you. <laughs> <laughs> Chewy, are you piloting the Falcon? What's Han Solo? He should be your avatar. You need to message message wizards about that. They might explore. Uh, go ahead and play this. And I'll keep the Wraths ready if Han Solo sends in your giant. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and kill the giant first. Cultivate my lands. No, I could have... Uh, I could have went ahead and played an approach, but I, I didn't have seven land. And if he blows up my amulet some kind of way, like that, <laughs> I want to be able to <clears throat> still cast my my approaches. Always gotta be thinking, boys and girls. Gotta be thinking ahead. All right. Let's see. Uh. Has some kind of way to stop. Approach. He's dead. He's dead. He can't save you. It's gonna be. I'm gonna be executing Order 66 against the Millennium Falcon and crew. Oh, look, she looks like Ray. Why'd you throw her out of the Falcon? <laughs> Ouch. Good game. <laughs> Execute order 66. Execute order <laughs> 66. <laughs> I typically do okay with two landers at this deck. I've been doing okay with two landers, so Arena likes giving two land opening hands a lot. Oh, mono red. Mono red boing. I don't run into mono red too often in historic. Alright. Um, I think I just need the wrath here. 
Because that uh, steam can, can be a pathway to me losing a lot of life very quickly. Alright, get my amulet down. Hope that I survive this swing here. Alright, I'll take action. Man, really chops down the life fast, doesn't it? Um, uh, me cultivate. Yeah, I need planes and force. We put the force in, tapped, and I'll uh, play the planes here. Gain me three life. And gave me four life. All right, I'm hanging in. I uh, take action again. I want him drawing cards. Can't have that. All right, back down to seven. All right, uh, let's go ahead and blessing. Put my life gainers back, my wrath back. Transform. There we go, finally got an approach. I'm gonna copy my approach here. Gain 14 life. Alright. Think I'm out of the danger zone now. Oh, bolt. Another bolt. Man, back down to 11. Happens fast, doesn't it? Uh, let me copy it. Gain 8 life. Keep my life up. And I'm gonna draw four cards here and get my get my approach back now so I can have it for next turn. Discard my land. Good game. <laughs> There you have it. Go forth. Shine the sun upon your opponent's faces. <laughs> the sad faces make them cry. Uh, yeah, this is a total meme deck, as I said in the intro. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. If you're looking for a way to kill people with approaches the second sun, this is definitely a viable option. March of the March of Twos is definitely a solid second win con in case they deal with your uh, approach to the second sun some kind of way. So uh, March isn't what it used to be because there's a lot of creature strategies and historic that can outdo March, but um, it, it can catch opponents off guard, especially if you got a flipped amulet and you copy it um, and you get a bazillion 1-1 one, one, uh, life linking tokens out. Um, it can really give your opponent a, a bad time. So, um, yeah, like I said, this deck is fun. Um, as always, I, I do stream, a uh, live stream, I multi-stream, matter, matter of fact. Um, to YouTube and Facebook on Friday. So um, I start around usually around 7 Central Time American Time. So um, make sure you tune in for those. And as always, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate all the love and support. If you are not subscribed and you're watching this video, please subscribe, um, like, comment on this video. It helps the channel out a whole lot. Um, I appreciate everybody. Um, and I will be putting up a Patreon soon. So um, I'm trying to get together what i will be doing for my patreon supporters so i want to really provide you all some good value before i actually go live with the patreon so um just giving everybody a heads up i'll be i'll be putting out a, a having a, a patreon up pretty soon so um yeah i hope to see you guys this friday for fnm um i think this fnm live stream i'm going to do uh, maybe like a freestyle kind of live stream so it's going to be a new concept i haven't really seen too many uh streamers doing this but Basically, I'm going to have a timer up on the screen where I'm just going to build a deck right there on the spot. 
um, and a timer will probably start at like five minutes. So um, you can watch along and see what I'm building. And it's just going to be like total random jank deck, not no meta decks. And I want any challenges that I take to um, bring um, some some random jank deck that they have and play against what I build right there on the spot. So um, I'm thinking about doing that for the next live stream. So stay tuned for that. All right. Uh, appreciate everybody. See you all this Friday. And if you can't make it this Friday, I will see you when I see you.